welcome back to my channel everyone. I went on a bit of a shopping spree. Some of the things I bought are really cheap and then the other ones are sort of expensive. So it's good I've got a range and a mixture of things to show you. Right now I'm on prac. So I'm at uni to learn to become a primary school teacher. So a lot of my clothes will be for prac and then I bought some other stuff for the gym and just some everyday stuff. So let's get straight into it. Lately I've been trying to save my money and look for things that look expensive but are really cheap. So I went to this store called Paper Scissors which is at Miranda, I'm not sure where else it is, but it was so cheap and I found some really cool things from there. The first things I got were these pants. They're really cool, I really like how they're tight around your waist, they're high-waisted and they're quite big and baggy. For my body size, I don't have really skinny legs, so I really like these sort of oversized floppy pants which accentuate a smaller waist and hide my legs. And I think they're very teacher appropriate. And if you are gonna have some type of line pattern on your clothing, like pants, tops, dresses, it is better that they go vertically because it elongates your body and makes you look skinnier, whereas if it's horizontal, it actually makes you look wider. They were $14, so that's crazy. And normally I would spend, you know, $70 on pants like that at Zara. The next thing I got, again, was from Paper Scissors, and it's like a navy blue. They look quite wide, but because when you tie this together, it sort of gathers it all together at the top. So it's just sort of like a fitted suit cigarette pant, and it's got the gold detail on the zippers. I'll either wear them with these tanned boots, or I would wear them with like my flat teaching shoes like that because I think these are really chic and they look really expensive and I like them. And these ones were $19.99 so again super cheap. The last thing I got from Paper and Scissors were these pants. So these are high-waisted as well. They're not as flared as the other strappy ones. They're more of a cuffed tailored cigarette pant and I really like them because I feel like they look really classy and chic and I can dress them up or down depending what top I have with it. And these were the cheapest thing I bought from Paper and Scissors and they came down to $12. Again from Zara that would be $70 so it was so worth it for me. One of my favourite things I bought was this crop top from Cotton On Body. Now lots of the time I don't get crop tops from Cotton On Body because I feel like they stretch really easily. All of my other ones are really floppy now and the elastic has completely given. But with this one, I like how the bottom part, the whole thing is elastic. So this big band here is just this big thick elastic band. That I love this detail at the top where it's sort of see-through and the back is really cool. The only negative about this is that I have to have the straps tightened all the way, which makes these bits go floppy. It's really hard to explain, so I'm going to have to chop them and sew them back together. But anyway, I love this crop top and I can't wait to work out in it. That one was $25. The other thing I bought from Cotton On Body was this black bralette. I'm obsessed with bralettes. I think they're so pretty. I don't have any boobs, so I can wear these all the time. I pretty much need no support and because I have no boobs I just would rather wear like a bralette rather than padding because even when I wear padding I just look like a smaller A so I'd rather just accept I have no boobs and not try to look like I do have them. They came in all different colours but as far as like lingerie and things like that go I love black. I could wear it underneath like a floppy white shirt and that would look really cool and chill so I love that and that one was $14.95 I believe. Yeah, that one was $14.95. I also bought this jacket. So this jacket is from Dolly Girl. And that is a nice little cheap store in Sydney that you can buy things from. I actually found one in Witchery a couple of weeks ago that I loved and it was $400. And then last night I was just walking past Dolly Girl and I saw this and it was $80. So $80 for a big trench coat is quite good. Then here's the most exciting part. I had never been to Lululemon before. Lots of the girls I follow on YouTube and the fitness people I see on Instagram, they're all obsessed with Lululemon. And I didn't even know that Australia had a Lululemon until I googled it and I found out that there was one in the city. I am in love. I've said before I'm very picky with tights as I have quite chunky thighs, I have a big bum and I have a small waist. I felt very unproportioned until I went to Lululemon. These tights weren't necessarily my favourite looking. I love them, I think they're beautiful, but um, they were definitely the most comfortable and if you are really picky like me and you like them high-waisted and really tight and you want to bend around and not have to adjust your tights, I, I highly suggest these tights. The first ones I got 
were these and they are called the seamlessly straight crop and I bought these ones because the whole thing is like elasticated it's really really hard to explain I don't know if you can see but the whole thing has like these little elastic ribbing part and the waistband is like the same elastic ribbing I seriously suck you in so much I liked that they're cropped because I probably wear these in summer and I think they're very timeless they're not on a specific trend so it's not like they're leopard print or they're like Aztec while those prints come in and out I like stuff like black and gray that is just in forever so I'll just wear these until they're dead they were originally $99 and I got them for 60 so I really really liked them the next tights I bought are gonna look a bit boring but I swear these are the ones I'm most excited for they are honestly just plain black tights they are so high-waisted I'm obsessed with them so I love how high-waisted they are they fit amazing they're honestly just plain black they're quite thick and I really like that because I feel like the thicker tights are the more they suck you in they were hundred and nine dollars although that's quite expensive for plain black tights I can't tell you how many black tights I've gone through I probably have like 10 in my drawer and because I wear them three times and then my butt is so big that it stretches them and then I have to pull them up all the time so I thought screw it I'm just going to invest in some really good expensive black tights that I can just have forever the next tights I got were these ones called the wonder under pant roll down it's not even the print that I'm obsessed with it's like the feel of them and how they suck you in and they are really high-waisted and I honestly cannot wait to work out in these they're sort of like a really faint leopard print I guess but like a grey and black leopard print there were some more tights like this that I loved and they had like this really cool feather print on them but I thought these were more versatile and I not only will I wear these to the gym but I can just put like a floppy white shirt with like my black and white Nikes and a leather jacket and I could just wear that to uni I also bought another bra and it was from Bonds so Bonds was having like a 40% off sale so I got this for like $14 and embarrassingly enough it's called like my first bra but I'm obsessed with them I anything that's called my first bra give it to me I like that it's got a little bit of padding so it's like if you get cold you like can't tell you're cold if you know what I mean you can't see your nipples the last thing I purchased is actually this snow jacket from a brand called Colorwear and it's cool because you can wear it like a day look as well so I've been wearing this to uni um, just with like a normal hoodie underneath so it's got a 10k rating so 10k wind 10k waterproof I did wear it at the snow once and I didn't get wet I didn't get cold because it's totally windproof I always just make sure to wear one of my snowboarding hoodies underneath which are really thick and warm I think the lining is really cool it just makes it a bit more feminine with the pink leopard print so I like that it is girly and it shows that it is a female jacket that is everything I bought guys I hope you enjoyed it let me know if you want to see any other fashion hauls so no I don't go on shopping sprees a lot hardly ever actually so that's why I thought I would make a video about it show you what I bought and hopefully you guys get to see some cool things that you like um, I'll see you in my next video thank you for watching bye